Fortunately, John Britton had no lack of company when it came to rethinking the motorcycle. We really started with the concept of, I want to make the sport bike chassis take a leap forward. I'm not satisfied where everything is today. Former Harley-Davidson engineer Eric Buell left the motor company in 1983 to build race bikes. In 1987, he began building sport bikes using Harley-Davidson Sportster engines. It is much like, you know, the, the Chevy V8 or the Fender Stratocaster in the music industry, the one that everybody keeps making copies of. In 2002, Buell started from scratch with a new V-twin engine and a revolutionary frame. One of the duties of the frame is to carry the gas tank. The gas tank sits atop the frame, usually. Well, Eric said, why don't we make the frame the gas tank? Brilliant. On this motorcycle, this is the airbox cover. The fuel is all inside this massive aluminum frame here. It fills through here and goes down both sides of the frame and across the back. Fuel also eliminated the typical oil tank. So we came up with the idea of putting the oil right in the very front of the swing arm. The swing arm is an aluminum casting, which dissipates heat really well. There's a lot of cool air flowing by it. Gives us a lot of volume and a great location and takes the weight away of a separate tank. With no separate oil and fuel tanks, the Firebolt is shorter and lighter. And with all the heavy liquids inside, not on top of the frame, there's a lower center of gravity, riveting the bike to the road. You can find the Firebolt and other Buells at Harley-Davidson dealerships. Since 1998, Harley has controlled the majority share of the Buell Motor Company. Buell is carrying on the sporting tradition that motorcycle companies like Harley began a hundred years ago.